guys, my name is Lucy Walker and today I want to show you how to make a needle burnisher. Now this wonder tool is fantastic for when we're doing things like flush setting and also when we're doing bezel setting too. All you're going to need for this is an old broken burr and a little tool handle just like this. Alrighty, let's do it. So thanks to my students, I have a lot of broken burrs lying around. If you don't have any lying around, literally I would go out and buy the cheapest one you can find and just snap that head right off. But admittedly, this is why I'm permanently broke. Okay, but it is the perfect shape for this job. So what we're going to need also is some sandpaper sticks in 100 grit, 240 grit, 600 grit, 800 and 1000 grit. We're also going to need a little bit of leather and some polishing compound. Today we're using Picasso Blue, but to be honest, if you prefer to use Rouge, that's no problem at all. So the first thing that we're going to do is put on our safety glasses. So now we've got our old broken burr in our flex shaft, what we're going to do is take our 100 grit sandpaper and use this to shape the tip of our tool here. Now what we're looking for is kind of a curved, smooth bullet shape. And so we're going to do all the shaping with our 100 grit sandpaper and we're going to run our pendant motor or flex shaft up and down the sandpaper stick whilst also lifting it up and down like this. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I've pretty much got the shape that I want now. So all I'm going to do now is do exactly the same with 240, 600, 800 and 1000 grit. I'm not changing the shape here, I'm just simply removing the marks created by my 100 grit sandpaper. So the tip of our tool is looking pretty good now. It's really nice and smooth and we could definitely use it like this. But if we want our tool to leave a really nice, bright, shiny finish on our work, we need to have a really nice, bright, shiny finish on the tool itself. And so to do that, I'm going to take a piece of leather, charge it with a little bit of polishing compound. Again, this is Picasso Blue, but if you want to use regular rouge, you can. I'm going to put my safety glasses back on because I am a good girl and we're just going to run this up and down the leather just as we did with the sandpaper sticks. And there we are, that's really nice and bright and shiny now. So when we set any stones, it will leave a really nice, bright, shiny finish around those two. So I'll take it out of my pendant motor and we're just gonna take the handle, pop it in there and tighten it up. And there we are, all ready for flush setting. Thanks for joining us guys, see you next time.